So today I'm going to show you some tricks of the trade. These are what the people that are in the industry know about how to keep your jewelry clean. And it's not just about keeping your jewelry clean. Our biggest nightmare, or our biggest frustration, is when those stones get a little bit cloudy, even your diamonds and even your gemstones, even your CZs get cloudy. I'm going to show you the tricks that will keep that from ever happening to you. So I've got a selection of rings here that I'm going to show you, but first I want to give you a little warning. You have to be very careful with two kinds of stones. One, pearls. Do not do this at home with pearls. Two, turquoise. Do not do this at home with your turquoise. Okay, so we've got three examples here, and I might even use my own ring because it always needs a little cleanup, and I've got all the equipment here to do it. Because I'm also going to show you a little trick about how to keep your silver clean. But this is really about cloudy stones and how we keep them from getting cloudy. Okay, so I have some equipment here, and you probably have every one of these things at home, so it won't be anything that you don't already have. I have a dip cleaner. This happens to be the one we use in the shop. It is, um, I would, it's a really good dip cleaner, but what my recommendation is is that you do not, please do not leave your jewelry in this overnight. It's acid, it's not very good for your fingernails or your fingers either, but it does a really good job of cleaning your jewelry quickly. It has a little tray in it, so all you have to do is drop it in. So we've got water, and we've got jewelry cleaner, and we have a little brush if you have really like let things get kind of cloudy underneath. It's really what we're talking about is what happens underneath the stone. So the stone itself stays pretty clean. This is a really nice example of a smoky topaz. So inside is where the worrisome part comes. And we think it comes there because of things like hand lotion or um, I don't know, anything that you get your hands in, soap, whatever. But let me tell you the little secret. The reason that stones get cloudy is the sediment in the water. I don't care where you live, there is sediment in your water. It's the reason that we use jet dry in our jet dishwashers for the very same reason. Because if you didn't, your crystal or even your glasses are gonna get kind of a film on them. And that's what happens to your stones. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how to prevent it. And then secondly, if it's already happened, then I'm gonna tell you how to get it off and keep it off. So there's actually three steps to it, and they're not anything difficult. So the first step is that you just put the required whatever it is that you want inside this little thing, and you swish it around a little bit. You don't have to do it a really lot, and you try to keep your fingers out of it. Okay, that's step one. Step two, and you already do this, I know you do, you rinse it in just cool water. That's not a big deal. If it's really on there really bad, then you can use this like toothbrush and walk around with it, walk around with it, walk around. Okay, that's usually where you stop, right? And then you rinse it off, I mean you dry it off with a little towel and good to go. But here's the secret. The secret to this is number one, you dip. Number two, you rinse with water. And of course, then you dry it off. But the third secret is the hair dryer. And I know this stays in the bathroom right along with the rest of this, so I want you to start using it. So you dip it in the cleaner, you dip it in the water, and then you turn it over on the back, and by the way, it's gonna get pretty hot, so you probably have to leave it on a cloth. I'm not gonna turn this on, because then you couldn't hear me. But you're just gonna like power down with your hot hair dryer. It won't hurt the stones at all, because that's what pops the sediment off, believe it or not, and it's gone. I mean, it just like vanishes. If you don't do this step, step number three, and all you do is just rinse and dry, the sediment will be in there anyway because guess what, this is your enemy, the water that you've been rinsing it in. So use the dryer, it's your power one. Now I'm gonna tell you one more little secret. So all of these stones are easy to do, including your diamonds, your very best stones, and including your CZs that you just have a great ring, like this ring, well actually this is aquamarine, but these kind of rings, anything that's crystal-like, no pearls and no turquoise of course, but if you wanna get the silver nice and clean and easy, this is the secret. It's just an old fashioned rubber eraser, gum eraser, some people call them. You use this and you just wipe it like this. So this is a really good project when you're sitting at home watching television. If you use this rubber, uh, rubber eraser on it, it will stay much, much more silver and less tarnish for longer. So this is the secret. You just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, and it'll be like, oh my gosh, that's magic. So that's it, that's how you clean your jewelry. I have other tips for things like pearls and other things, but this is the one that we most often help people with in the shop. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped.